Welcome back to News Across Nigeria. River State Governor Nisum Wike has asked the newly sworn in members of the State Independent Electoral Commission to ensure the conduct of credible council polls in the state. According to him, though the local government caretaker chairman controversy is still in court, he is optimistic that the matter will be resolved on or before May the 25th. He has asked the commission to use the opportunity to set a good example on how elections should be conducted. We expect that you should be able to carry out your responsibilities, that is, of conducting a free and fair election. You should swing into action immediately and then and show Nigeria that yes, indeed, you can conduct a credible election into the various councils in the state. Yes, we are in court, but whatever the outcome of the court matter would be by 25th of uh, May, the issues ought to have been resolved, well, whether those who will be there or not. River State Governor Nyesom Wike. The federal government has called on all permanent secretaries in the country to uphold the rules and regulations of the basic principles of public procurement. The head of service of the Federation, Winifred Oyoita, said this at the public procurement retreat held in Calabar, the Cross River State Capital. Public procurement in federal ministries has been seen as a means of subverting laid down practices by encouraging corruption, nepotism, and ethnicism in the award of contracts. Shall restore hope and dignity to Upholding the, the basic principles of public procurement, procurement such as transparency, integrity, openness, and fairness, forms the basis of the public procurement retreat held in Calabar, the Cross River State Capital. This epic civil servant shall restore hope and dignity to the service from the bottom up by reversing the current reputation for inefficiency, low productivity, corruption, and insensitivity to the needs of the public. We have started this with the recently concluded inaugural retreat for the project management teams on the implementation of the Federal Civil Service Strategy and Implementation Plan. With the determination and commitment of all stakeholders in the implementation of the Procurement Act, we can only continue to do better. President Mohammed Buhari's change agenda, like we all know, is tailor-made to institutionalize some basic reforms key among which is the area of public procurement. The state governor, Ben Ayadi, reminds the 22 new federal permanent secretaries of their roles as servants of the people and urges them to provide enabling opportunities for all without fear or bias. Your position is to serve humanity. It's not to serve state or state. And so to that extent, I, I, I dare you to put God and the fear of God indeed first in all your considerations. A retreat is also an opportunity for you to pull back from the office and have a solemn reflection of your activities while in office and ask yourself, do you have clean hands to come before God? The retreat hammered on the rise of a paradigm shift in the public procurement process where personal interests would be replaced by patriotic duties. And that's the program today. Thank you for watching. I'm Imana Amawai.